Welcome to the 12 week online program on choosing happiness. Now I know you might wonder why is happiness really a choice? Isn't happiness or any emotion for that matter just the outcome or effect of what happens to me? I used to think it was like that as well many years ago till I came across the science of happiness and I started studying and researching the same and what I learned literally blew away. So let me give you one key fact. So if you know everything about a person's life, you can only predict 10% of his or her happiness level. Now, if happiness was really the outcome or the effect of what happens to us, then you should be able to predict at least 80 to 90%, right? Or it may be 50%, but no, here we can predict 10%. So what then predicts the other 90% of a person's happiness? It's not just the things that happen to a person, but the way the person's brain processes that information. In fact, let me go a step further and say there's something called bounded awareness, which means we are, our brain is not always taking in all the information that's available to it. So what really predicts a person's level of happiness is the way the brain receives or the subset of information that the brain actually receives and then the way the brain processes that information. Now that is intriguing, isn't it? And it was very intriguing for me because I had actually earlier in my life been diagnosed as clinically depressed and I used to face a whole range of emotions. Sometimes they were very difficult to handle as well. And when I started learning that, oh, there might be something in my hand something in my brain more literally and if I teach my brain if I train my brain to process information differently does that mean I can actually become a happier person that's the question that launched me into the inquiry and study and search of the field of positive psychology and it's been an ongoing journey so I have taught courses based on this field at I am Bangalore for 10 years I've taught leadership programs for executives titled Leading with Joy. I run weekly happiness coaching sessions and I also do pers personal coaching. And all these years of working with several people has only reinforced this understanding more and more deeply that indeed we can choose happiness. And of course, it's a choice. You have to be willing to. You might you want to. And there's no prescription here about why you should want to. But if you want to choose happiness, then there are steps that you can take. There are programs that you can create in your brain. There are things that you can change in your brain. And this is what we will be looking at in this program. The book that we are going to use is this lovely book called The Happiness Advantage. Now, why did I choose this book? There are lots of books on happiness out there, lots of books, books on positive psychology, and they're all nice. But I like this particular book because of its very practical approach as well as its theoretical grounding. So what you will learn is tools, you will learn about the brain, chapter by chapter you will learn to do different things and I will be there with you in this journey. It's going to be a closed group of 25 people and as you work through this book as self-study every week i will be meeting you for an interactive live session to facilitate you clear your doubts and cheer you on and as we progress on this journey of choosing happiness together so i look forward to having some of you on board this course for the next launch date of this program you can visit my website www.craftingourlife online programs for further information see some of you then